gamers and welcome to the week two update for Tabletop Codex. Now I mentioned before that what I really want to do is have a what's new screen on the Codex so every time you open it up you'll be able to see what new games have been added. Of course uh, because I'm paying a developer to create and maintain this app that all costs money. It's something I definitely want to do in the future. It'll be one of the first new features I add to the wonderful Tabletop Codex with all its amazing games, check them all out. And of course, I've added some more. I'm adding new games every single week. So this week, I've added another six games. We've got Western Legends, the fantastic game of Wild West Adventure. We've got Vagrant Song, which is a relatively new game, fantastic game by Weird Games, which is all set in a sort of early Mickey Mouse tunes kind of style, but it's got a horror element, a ghost kind of element. Fantastic. Check it out if you haven't played it already. Uh, Sniper Elite, of course, the great game by Rebellion Unplugged, which is based on the computer game, which I just played recently and was really fun. Uh, Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition, that is the Wiz Games edition of the classic Clash of Cultures, the Civilization game. Really, really cool. Ninjato, an old one by Crosscut Games, which actually I did the graphic design on. Um, and it's a really, really good game. If you haven't checked it out, if you can still get a copy, check it out. It's very, very cool. Uh, it's got a sort of push your luck element and some, you know, some really interesting mechanics. And then finally, Relic Blade, the amazing tabletop miniatures game by Sean Sutter and Metal King Studios, which if you're a tabletop miniatures gamer, I really recommend checking out. Very simple system, but really fun and effective. I've done a battle report for it, so check that out on my YouTube channel. So another week, another six updates. So that's so far, we've got 12 updates since launch, 12 new games added. So this is why it's a subscription system because there's new stuff being added all the time. Now, the thing you're all asking about is the Android version. And I, again, I have to just apologize and say, I'm so sorry it's not in your hands yet. There are reasons and the reasons are Google. Google in November last year made it very difficult for independent developers. You have to have 20 testers to test your app for two weeks before you launch it on Google Play, before it gets approved to go on Google Play. It's a very difficult and time consuming process and something I wasn't aware of until I applied to put my um, app up there and I thought it'd be super easy and it wasn't. So right now I'm getting 20 testers together and they're gonna to have to test it for two weeks before I can get it online. So I'm so sorry, there is going to be a fortnight's delay, maybe a little bit longer as Google approve it. I'm doing everything I can to get that to you as fast as possible. The good news to make up for the fact that's going to be late is that I'm going to be adding something very, very important to the app when I do the Android ver version. And of course that will update with the Apple version as well. I can't talk about it yet, but I think everyone will be really excited to see it, so stay tuned. Oh, and of course I did that summary and thank you so much to everyone who responded. I got about uh, 90 responses, which is fantastic. I'm still collecting information, so if you want to um, fill out that summary, it's really easy to do. It's just a Google Forms form. Um, there's a link in the show notes below, and please go and fill it out. Just a bit of information. It's uh, not personal at all, and no information is retained except the answers that you give. Uh, and it just gives me an insight into my audience for Tabletop Codex and will influence its development in the future. So thank you so much for filling that out. And lastly, a million thanks to the people who have downloaded and especially those who have signed up to Tabletop Codex. This is going to be a fantastic thing. And I think once you start using it, you're going to realize this isn't just rule summary stuck in an app. This is not like anything you can find on Board Game Geek. It's nothing like any rule summary you can find online. It's something that is really, really easy to use and will make your gaming better. I promise you, I've been using it myself for a while now and I don't use my printed summaries anymore. I don't use anything else. I don't use rule books. I just use tabletop codecs when I'm playing a game. So check it out. Thank you for the support, everybody. I'll see you next time.